Hello everyone. As you know, the earth follows the sun in its motion in space. The various motions result in days, seasons and years. The two main movements of the earth are rotation and revolution. Previously, I told you about rotation of the earth. With the help of this video, I will enhance your knowledge about revolution of the earth. The movement of the earth in an elliptical orbit around the sun is called revolution. Elliptical means oval. As you can see here, the path of earth's motion is oval. This fixed path on which the earth revolves around the sun is called orbit. Each planet of solar system has a fixed orbit on which they revolve around the sun. The earth revolves on this path from west to east. One revolution of the earth around the sun takes 365 days and 6 hours. 365 days are equivalent to one year while the six hours in four consecutive years adds up to form one full day of 24 hours which is added to the month of February every fourth year. In this year the month of February has 29 days instead of 28 days. This year with 366 days is known as leap year. In the course of revolution, the earth attains two different positions, farthest and nearest to the sun. The earth is said to be perihelion when it is closest to the sun. When the earth is farthest from the sun, it is said to be aphelion. Here, peri means near and ap means away. And helios means the sun. So now it is easy for you to understand that perihelion means closest to the sun and aphelion means farthest to the sun. The revolution of the earth in its elliptical orbit causes unequal days and nights and changing seasons. Due to the tilt of the earth's axis, earth receives unequal rays of the sun at different places during different times of the year. For example, the southern hemisphere remains inclined to the sun during six months of the year. Contrastingly, the northern hemisphere is away from the sun during this time. This phenomenon is repeated throughout the year and conditions are reversed every six months in northern and southern hemispheres. Since the length of the days and nights are decided by the total heat received, the duration of day and night varies between summer and winter in the northern and southern hemisphere. The other effect of revolution is change in seasons. We experience change in seasons due to revolution of the earth around the sun on its tilted axis. Due to the tilted position of the earth, Different places on the earth face the sun various times of the year. This results in formation of four seasons, summer, winter, spring and autumn. As you can see here in the given picture, in March, neither of the poles is facing the sun. It is spring in northern hemisphere and autumn in southern hemisphere. As in June, 
the north pole is facing the sun while the south pole is facing away from it so it is summer in the northern hemisphere and winter in the southern hemisphere in september neither of the poles is facing the sun so it is spring in southern hemisphere and autumn in northern hemisphere as you can see here in december the south pole is facing the sun while the north pole is facing away from it so it is summer in southern hemisphere and winter in the northern hemisphere so now we know that most places on earth experience different seasons due to revolution of the earth it is very cold during winter in many places snow falls the days are short and the nights are long during spring trees sprout new leaves and flowers bloom after the cold winter months birds build nests and the weather is mild and pleasant the summer months are hot and dry the days are long and the nights are short in many places rivers and lakes run dry as in autumn leaves change color and start falling from the trees days and nights are of the same length the weather is pleasant in india we have yet another season the monsoon this is the season of rains in india it occurs every year between june and august i hope that you have understood the topic well Let's take a quick recap of it. The spinning of the earth on its axis is called rotation. An axis is an imaginary line joining two poles of the earth through its center. The earth always revolves around the sun at an inclination. The movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution it takes 365 days and 6 hours for earth to complete one revolution that's all for today everyone stay happy and keep learning